guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here i appreciate you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my youtube family also consider hitting that like button of this video as well as leaving a comment down below because all of those things do help my channel grow and i appreciate you so much for it I want to point out Frugal J. I've been saying this in all of my videos. So just a really quick recap that her son was in an accident. He is in ICU in Chicago and Jay lives in Florida. So she's been in Chicago for over a month now to be there with her son. And um, if you don't, what are the words I'm looking for? She has a GoFundMe. Everything Mari started it for her. I have that link down below. If you don't feel comfortable doing a GoFundMe, that's totally okay. I completely understand. But there's also other ways of offering support, such as joining her channel, giving her videos, some watches. If you don't know, the way YouTubers earn their money is by watching their ads or clicking on their ads. And so if you want to head over there, and even if you just like you don't watch, you just let them run through, including the ads, that is very helpful to her or just send out your love and prayers and positive vibes her way any of those things can help support her while she's going through this tough time and being there for her family in a different state so um, it's all linked down below her channel and her gofundme is going to be in my description box i want to say thank you i received two easter cards in the mail i know i'm a little late showing them so i hope everyone had a wonderful easter ours was really chill which was perfect but I was a little late at going to my post office box, but I was really excited to get both of these cards. I got this one. It's so pretty and pink. It's got the cute Easter eggs full of such fun stickers. I love the amber stickers. And Celeste, you literally made me laugh out loud when I read, I appreciate you so, so much. Cause I was like, yep, I say that like all the time. So you made me giggle a lot when I opened this. Thank you so much, Celeste. I appreciate the card. It made me smile and dorothy aka baby girl on my youtube down below where she comments you both of you are here at pretty much every video i believe and i appreciate you so so much um sent me this card has a lovely note in it and so i just wanted to let you both know i received them thank you so much they put a huge smile on my face i went and checked it yesterday morning and put a huge smile on my face so thank you so much so today for you, I have a Dollar Tree haul. I'm excited to share some of the stuff. I mean, it's kind of been sitting. So I buy stuff and if it's something's more press, pressing, I make sure to grab that and haul it first, like the Easter basket stuff and then the Easter stuff for my kids and all that. And then everything else kind of gets set to the side because sometimes I just buy stuff that I need and it just gets set to the side or I find stuff that's neat, but I don't need it at the time. So I might be surprised in some of these bags too. Let's just get started and we'll see. So this one is the one we need. Um, we've been buying just bulk rice and cooking it in our Instant Pot, and we have regular white rice and jasmine rice. I don't eat either of those, or I don't eat those. Um, if you watch my other channel, I watch like a brown rice, or I eat a brown rice from Trader Joe's. It's lower in points, but the kids all really like it, and so I need something to store the rice in, and so I have one already that the white rice is in, but now we have jasmine rice, and so I got another one for that to store our rice. I also use those though, like I have flour and up above in my pantry, it's flour and sugar, brown sugar. Um, I have two kinds of flour, self-rising, regular. Yeah, so I use those to store all my stuff in my kitchen and I really like the way they look in my pantry. I need to do a deep clean of my pantry though. It's become a hot mess. We are almost out of ketchup and at least one of my children is a big time ketchup user and he eats it on his mac and cheese and that's Eric, the youngest, um, but I don't yuck his yum because it's his yum. He likes it and we're running low and he made sure to let me know, Amber, we're running low on ketchup. So I had to get some. And then the last time we used our mustard, we used it all up, our just regular yellow mustard. I use a dill mustard from Walmart that is delicious, but our yellow mustard is all gone. So I grabbed another one to have for whenever we need mustard. I'm not a big yellow mustard fan, but there's a time and a place. I ran to Dollar Tree the day before Easter just for some last minute items that were used on, you know, the morning of Easter. But when I was there, this is the only set of these wood beads. So from the time that Dollar Tree started putting out Easter, I said my wish list item included the wooden bead garlands and I never found them and i was so excited to find one so i'm going to be perfectly happy to have this one for next year 
And so here is the one I picked up. It's the orange one with the carrot. I'm gonna leave it as is, just put it in my Easter bin and pull it out next year. I didn't do a walkthrough of my Easter decor this year because I um just never got it all up. I put up some garlands. It says Happy Easter on my wall over there, a couple of the signs. I did my tear tray, but I didn't really go all out for my Easter decorations. I don't know why. I think it's because I was so busy with the Easter baskets. I just never finished getting out all my decor. And so I didn't do a home walkthrough for it. So sorry, guys. I found another JoJo bow. This was all by itself in one of the stores, in the one store. I went to one store right before Easter. And it's not a store I usually go to. So it was fun to kind of see different stuff. But this one is so cute because it has a unicorn horn on it. And then it's got like the unicorn things all over it. And so it's got the rubber band. It says right here that it's normal price $9.99. I think this is the third or fourth JoJo bow. I just keep finding them randomly. But like I said, this was the only one. And I thought it was too cute. So I picked it up because the little unicorn horn. So um, Lorelai used to be really into wearing bows in her hair, but then like she stopped. So I don't know if I'm going to give them to Lorelai, someone else. I haven't, I haven't figured that out yet. So, but I pick them up because they're super cute and someone, someone will enjoy them if it's Lorelei or not Lorelei, someone will. I picked up these Brain Teasers card games um, for the kids, and I figure what I probably will do with them is give them for or take them to our trip to Costa Rica, because I've already mentioned before, we have some decently long plane rides. I think it's going to be five or six hours to get there, and then it's going to take us eight hours to get home because we have a layover. And so I just want to make sure that we have things for them to do. Probably movies on the iPad will be like the biggest thing, but if that gets boring. So these are brain busters full of trivia questions designed for kids or even adults with 150, over 150 trivia questions. It provides hours of entertainment. So this one is Creepy Crawlies and it has a yucky spider on the outside of it and it says ages six and up. They all say that. This one is about pets, and I think they all have 31 cards in them, and they, so all the cards have multiple trivia questions. And then this one is about ocean life. And so, I don't know, I thought that that would be fun for the plane ride and something, you know, pretty small and easy to, to pack and take with us. So I picked those up for that. Um, I have a couple different stickers around in some of my bags because I have a sticker problem. <sighs> I have a sticker problem. I don't know if that's even it. I feel like there might be another one. Maybe not though. So first I picked up two of these. I don't know why I picked up two and not one. Oh, I think because I was picturing um, my ice cream boat. So if you heard previously before, we are going to eventually do an ice cream boat. We haven't started working on it yet but we are going to, the goal is to have it up and running by 2023. So not this upcoming summer, but next summer. And this just gave me the vibes of ice cream boat. Let me maybe put this on the back. And so it's just a bunch of little like ice cream cones and popsicles, fruit, so summery. And so I got two, I think if I'm making it harder to see them. So I fell in love with those. I love all the little colors like the pastel like summer colors so I just love those I picked up two of them this I grabbed to give to Lorelai at some point because she has been all into like galaxy lately like that's been her jam is galaxy and this just gave me the galaxy vibes so I'm gonna put them in all the stuff I pick up for my kids all the time it goes in a box and like I pulled out a bunch if you saw the picture of their Easter baskets I just like went through that loaded them up and they got a bunch of stuff because I buy it for them all the time. I picked up more of these water bottle stickers to probably put in Happy Mail. I've had a couple people comment that they haven't found them and they want them. And so I got two of these ones that are the coffee style. And then this one, I don't recall if I picked this up the first time or not, but it is the be who you are, not who the world wants you to be. I love that. And then live, love, life. And then just like the cute geometric circles. They look like they're all attached. Yeah, it says it's a three piece. So those are all attached. And so 
those will probably end up in happy mail. I have I have happy mail, guys. Like I have a lot to send out. So if you are one waiting on anything from me, it's still coming. I just I haven't gotten it all out and two if you don't know what's coming eventually you're gonna get a surprise from me because you're in my pile I found a couple more of these mom momoka momoka momika I can't say it um I was watching who was I watching yesterday crafty girl and she mentioned and I didn't even realize that they have the Greenbrier information on the back side so this must now be part of Greenbrier I don't know I thought it was like a new brand or like an outside brand and I had to grab them, but maybe they're just going to be normal, which I love because I've loved all of their stickers so far. So this one was Jelly Beans. It says it is scented and I thought that they were really, really cute to add to my ridiculous sticker collection. And then this one is Bubblegum scented and I fell in love when I saw that one. So it's got like sticks of gum. It's got balls, gumballs. I like the gumball machines because, oh my goodness, how adorable. So, I grabbed that one because, I mean, it's adorable. So, I had to pick it up because I have a sticker problem. I grabbed this. So, Eric, he's my little army one. I'm working on an army birthday party for him. Um, Dollar Tree is not coming through for me really on that. Not very much. But um, he draws all the time. And he's one he wants to keep everything because he's a child and they all want to keep everything so I was thinking because he he draws war scenes and d-day and tanks and soldiers and it's just his jam right now it used to be titanic and now it's army and war but uh I thought maybe if he wanted to keep all his drawings we can use the three hole punch and he can just put them all in here and then at least it's organized and something he can go back to so that was kind of my thought with this so I'm gonna see if he's into it and then that's what we're gonna use that for I don't know what else for him I could use that for um, but since I'm like outright like looking for camo and army stuff like that just caught my eye and I picked it up so right now Dollar Tree and I've seen other people haul this stuff so I know they're like putting it out they are putting out this whole taco party fiesta stuff I mean, I guess that makes sense because Cinco de Mayo is around the corner, but I had to pick up these plates. I ended up with three of them because they come with 12 each and they are adorable. We do tacos a lot in my house. It's one of our like easy dinners and like everyone loves it. And these are adorable, adorable. So I picked up the plates. This would be so cute in a gift basket too, to do like a Taco Tuesday gift basket for somebody. They got like the lime squeezer in the um, food sector and the not food section in the um food items kitchen items <laughs> kitchen utensil section um and you do this and you can do like they have taco sauce out right now and i got this garland it has like the pop out cactus taco avocado and pinata and this one was so cute so i grabbed that and then i grabbed the avocado napkins this has 16 in it they had more and I had to stop myself. I told myself like I'm not doing a full-fledged party with this. It's just really cute. So you need to just only, sorry that was so me hitting the tripod. Um, you only pick up what you think you're, you know, might just put out. Like a night taco night for dinner, I can do a little garland up here and then the plates and napkins. I might pick up more though if I run into it again because it's so cute. Um, I found some of my wish list items, which is always exciting. This is when I went to the random store that I don't always go to. And I found actually several wish list items there. And this was one of them. They're the little cups. Like they call them lidded plastic jar. I think when it scanned it, like, like on the receipt, it said cotton jars, cotton ball jars maybe. But I mean, for your bathroom, this would hold cotton balls the cotton rounds, q-tips, any of that, and it just looks so nice and sleek just the way it is. I have a plan. I have a dresser that my husband is refinishing for me someday because he has like, I don't know, 22 and a half projects like he's in the middle of, and when, I've, when that dresser gets finished and up in my room, I want to do like a whole makeup thing on top because I have a lot of makeup thanks Dollar Tree, and I'm doing all the holders in the acrylic or clear plastic and so I, these could potentially work too with my makeup stuff so i picked up three of them there wasn't a ton i think after i picked up three there was maybe like a few three to five left or something 
and I don't know exactly what I'm using them for, so I don't want to have too many, but hopefully I have enough for whatever I end up using them for. But I was really excited to find those. Talking about the bathroom, I use this leave-in conditioner um, daily now. I really like it. I tried the blue one. The blue one was too heavy for my hair, but this purple one, it says it's with Brazilian creatine oil, and it hydrates and shines. Um, it works really well in my hair. So this is the one. I think the blue one says frizz control, and it was just too heavy. Like, I could just feel it in my like I just didn't like the way it was in my hair but that purple one is is really good it seems to work really well now these I picked up I've already hauled this one once it is the blueberry lip balm very nice by yes studio and I use it I like it a lot and they had more so I picked them up they actually had five and I did pick up all five because I want to give them away and to either people I know in gift baskets or happy mail and when I picked up the five the cashier was like oh my gosh I need one of those I haven't tried that kind so I gave one to the cashier because I bought them to give them away because I have one I'll probably you know it'll last and so I gave one to her and then I have some for gift baskets and or happy mail and then they only had two of this flavor it says power pout pear lip balm and I haven't tried this one yet. They only had two. I'm keeping one. I don't know what I'll do with the other one yet. But I wanted to pick those up because, you know, they're great for gift baskets or gift giving. And I wanted them. Uh, speaking of Eric's birthday party, I picked up some paper bags. I think I'm going to use these for the goodie bags and put some stuff and then do like a little army something on, on the front of it. Because uh, I saw that on Pinterest and I'm like that's such an inexpensive way and it looked so army to me And so I grabbed these to be the goodie bags I picked up Some of these Hair ties I'm going to toss this in some happy mail like I said I have Stuff of happy mail and then I have some like where I'm like collecting stuff for people But it's got like two things and so I want to make sure that I'm like Sending enough. So this reminded me of somebody. So I'm going to send it in happy mail. How cute are these little hook or but pins? Barrettes. Words are hard today, guys. Barrettes that are little panda bears. Just this like rainbow collection of hair ties and then the purple ones. So those are super cute. And for the same person, I picked up some panda bear socks to toss into that happy mail. I picked up some of these night lights because I just think that they'd be good in the hallway. So the kids like to keep our hall light on until they're asleep because it provides extra light in all their rooms, which is fine. But then when we go to bed, we turn them off. And so I think if we put one of these in the bathroom, and because sometimes they get up in the middle of the night after we've gone to bed to go to the bathroom, it'll help light it up for them. And so I was thinking the hall and the, the upstairs hallway that leads to the bathroom and one in the bathroom will be helpful. And then this one too for one the other somewhere to go along with it and see like what the best light is. So I picked up these three night lights for that purpose. This one glows a cool white. The one I was first looking at was a blue, but I didn't want it blue. I wanted white. So I got the cool white and then these don't say, but they're just like a regular light. So, and then this one comes in different shapes and sizes or different shapes and colors, but I just wanted a basic one for the for the bathroom um and boring i picked up some toothpaste for lorelei whenever i see these ones in this like flavors and little designs that i know they'll like i like to try to grab them because she needs a new toothpaste soon and i like to always have one on hand because you just never know when they're gonna run out of toothpaste and they like to tell me like literally as soon as they're out of toothpaste they don't like give any pre-warning for it of course I picked this up because I have something that I want to send in Happy Mail. It's a mug, and I'm hoping that it fits in this box. It's not a birthday present, and this is a really cute birthday box. But I just thought that if it fits in there, it's going to keep it safe during shipping. And it's really cute inside. I mean, I love these for birthdays, too. But that's why I grabbed it. So hopefully it'll fit and be able to be used for that. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to set it to the side and use it when a birthday comes up. And then again, speaking of Eric's birthday, this was a totally random find. I did find these at the Dollar Tree 
They didn't have anything else, plates, napkins, nothing, but they had the cups that are in camo, so I picked them up. And I figure like they can hold the forks and knives and spoons or, um, you know, just whatever, or just be used as cups. We usually just do like cans of soda and bottles of water, but if we decide to do something different. But I picked up those. I want to do a play table for him, and I don't know, maybe like a, an army like play table. We're actually going to probably make one for it to stay in his room all the time, so you'll be seeing some supplies for that coming up. But I thought, you know, if we wanted to do these like for barrels or whatever on an army play table, like we have those options. And each of them came with eight cups, they're nine ounce cups super random find like i'm like wow like i'm looking for army stuff and there's cups nothing else like i want the little toy army men that's what i'm looking for and i'm not finding them oh more stickers this is from a different trip so shocker there's more stickers in here these ones are also from the momoko there we go momoko and they're the rhinestone stickers and they have little rhinestones and they are princess tiaras and I think these are for Happy Mail or for Lorelai. I have not fully decided. I only picked up one, but really pretty. And then this, I don't know. I'm really excited for summer. I think I already own this one. I don't know, but it made me happy when I saw it. So I picked it up. I love the little inflatables. There it is. Inflatables. It's backwards when you look at the phone. An ice cream truck. I mean, how cute. We're going to have a boat, but how cute. A sandcastle. I love them all and it just tells me that summer is almost here today here in Colorado it's a beautiful day it's currently I think pushing 80 degrees outside so such a nice day the back windows open so if you see the curtains moving it's because my pups like to go in and out I have this notebook it says get things done like a boss I have not decided if it's for me or for Lorelai because Lorelai likes to think she's the little boss like I said, my husband is starting a carpet cleaning business. She thinks she's the boss of it. He's helped her think that, but so I didn't know if she want, I don't know. I haven't decided because I also really like it. So it's gonna go to one of us, we will see. All right, we are, we're getting close. I'm just checking my time and my amount of items. Um, I picked up this really pretty box. It's sparkly butterfly and it says spread kindness right here. This is, and right there as well. This is for Jay, for I'm trying to put together some Happy Mail to send to her. And this just, I mean, scream Jay to me. And it's like the pink color. I don't know if anyone else has already sent this to her or not, but um, I know she likes to also, she'll reuse like when she's sending out Happy Mail. I know she's not right now, but um, to be able to store some of the things in. I picked up this cute little rainbow squishy for some Happy Mail for someone. Hopefully their packages are getting full enough to where I can get them in the mail. Because, like I said, I have a lot. That is one of my goals by the, hopefully by the end of the week, to get all my happy mail sent out. I picked up this Dove Men Care Clean Comfort Aluminum Free Deodorant. Braxton is 11, going on 12 years old. And when it is PE day or warm days like today, he lives in his hoodies now, like it's a thing. Luckily, I don't have the problem with him taking showers but I think it's probably about time that he puts on some deodorant on certain days. So I'm gonna see if he like likes this style. It is roll-on, I believe. Yeah, it's a roll-on. And it smells just fresh, manly fresh. So it smells really good. And so we're gonna see if he likes that style. And this will be good for traveling too. So good travel size. I needed some tape because I just start going through tape and I needed it. We are almost done. For our Costa Rica trip, I picked up some inflatables. My thought is, so there's a pool at the resort we're staying at and we're right by the ocean. And so the kids aren't fully comfortable in the water, but they're comfortable enough, but they always like, you know, like pool toys. And so I got three of this style. It is the inflatable kickboard. And it says that they are, does it tell me the size? Yeah, 25 inches by 15 inches. And so these right now, if I just keep them like this, they are small and easy to pack. And like won't take up a lot of room. And if we, if they get popped or messed up or anything like that while we're there, it's not a big deal. We'll just throw them away. And if it's a struggle bringing them back, 
we'll also throw them away. I mean, we're going to try to keep them to reuse them, but if there's any like problems with them, they're $1.25. And so it's not like the worst thing if something happens to them. And so I grabbed one of each of these for the kids, a pink, a green, and a blue. And I also picked them up splash rings is what they call them, little inner tubes to take as well. And so I think there's two different sizes. The shark is 19 inches by 15 inches. And it's just a little shark. So that's for Eric. Then there is the tire. And this one's 22 inches diameter. I got that one for Braxton. So that one's a touch bigger. And then this one is a donut. A donut and it's also 22 inches. And I got that one for Lorelai. How cute is that? Like that is so cute. So my thought is these are small, easy to pack, they'll fit well, and then they can have them for the pool because our I mean our plan for the vacation is to spend time in the pool and not much more. So yeah, that would be perfect. All right, here is a few of my wish list items that I was so excited to find. I did pick up one more of these because I have been to one beach in Florida. I have some sand. We are going to Costa Rica and then we are going to Puerto Vallarta. So I figure if I decide to use these, I need three because that's three beaches. Um, but I don't, still don't know if that's what I'm going to use or not. We'll see. I did read, did I read it on a comment or did I see it on somebody's haul? I think I saw it on somebody's haul where you just do glue all around it and then you just put in a touch of sand, like it doesn't take much, and then you just glue the sand to the outside of it and then it looks like it's full, but it's just like nicely on the outside which makes so much sense so i might do that with the three of those and then do something another setup with my shells um one of my other wish list items that i was so excited to find are these big coffee cups so my coffee station has been and i'll probably change it for the summer but currently it's been donuts and coffee and so this was just perfect because it matches the colors that are over there and i just thought it was too cute and it says too much monday not enough coffee I might cricket something different, do something different right here, because that, I mean, it's cute, but it's not exactly what I would want on there, but it's a super cute little sign, and then I picked up another of that one, because I was thinking how cute this would be for a teacher gift, and teacher's gifts are coming, so I thought that would be really cute for a teacher gift, and then um, I picked up this one as well, it says wife, mother, coffee lover, and I like that one, I think it's really pretty and it makes sense so I grabbed that and then I found some of the signs that I've been hoping for this one I don't know if I knew about it or I just saw it in person and I loved it so it says on beach time it is in my colors the with the mint it's got the added blue that's not my color but the the teal kind of color is my color so I absolutely love that and then um I'm debating now. So usually for the summer, I do more tropical. So it's pineapples, palm leaves, and flamingos. So it's very tropical vibes, where this is all very beachy, like calmer vibes. What I think I'm gonna do, because I am loving their beach themed stuff this year. So I have up front is my front room slash office area. And then back here is like our living room and kitchen. So I think I'm gonna do one of them tropical and the other one beach vibes. So I can do both for the summer but I haven't decided which side of the house is gonna be what yet. So I love this, like I love that. They had didn't hardly have anything out yet for the beach stuff, but um, they had just a few things out. And this, since I've seen it, I think I first saw it on Everything Mari, I believe is the first place I saw it. And I was like, oh, I have to have that. And then I've seen it on people's Instagrams when they were taking pictures of like the section. And I'm like, oh please, please, I wanna find that so bad. So I was so excited. It says the beach is calling and I must go. And I feel like that that fits me perfectly because I get the itch to go to the beach like crazy. And so yeah, I found it and I was really excited. So now I just feel like I need to do a beach themed room, but yeah, I'll have to figure that out. And to go along with that then, I debated this. This was in the, the Dollar Tree Plus section. So those of you that don't know, the Dollar Tree Plus is a little section. It's usually about two aisles and then like both the end caps. Um, they have items that are three to five dollars, three and five usually. I guess maybe somewhere in the middle sometimes. Um, and there's some toys and craft items. I usually just look at the seasonal decor there. 
but it's nice because sometimes you find some neat stuff that I feel like is totally worth five dollars like this sign is 48 inches so it's nice and big and it's only five dollars so it says gone to the beach I don't think I could at all get it in the whole frame and it's got the starfish for the A and it's just got those really pretty beachy colors and so I love it so I'm gonna put this out somewhere when I decorate because I think the front room up there is gonna be the beachy theme and then our living room kitchen will be tropical is where I'm thinking I'm landing with that so guys that one was a kind of long one that is everything i have today for you i need to go shopping now so i have a haul for you later this week thank you so much for being here with me i do appreciate each and every one of you so much again if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button of this video as well as leave a comment down below i can't wait until i see you next time today is tuesday i'm going to get this uploaded today i think i'm going to go shopping tomorrow and probably record a haul for you on thursday the kids are out of school on friday two of the kids are out of school on friday so i need to be prepared and record because when they're home it's just so much more difficult they're just they're kids so um you will see me either thursday or friday and i can't wait to see you again i hope you guys have a wonderful day i will see you later bye